talking about on a Friday. We're getting off to a hot and heavy start here, getting some rhythm. What? This has been a short week. It's Friday. The weather's going to be beautiful. What more could you ask for? Uh, you know what I could ask for? What? Is if we could bring it, bring it down and make it smooth. Okay. Can we bring it down and make it smooth? We can do that. G. That's right. Kenny this G is, is Kenny in the studio. G hey, what's, good morning. What's going on? Good morning. <laughs> now, when you smooth it down for a Friday, that is how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you do it. That's right. Good Thank morning, by the way. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning to you. My pleasure. That's how you wake up with good sacks. That's, That's how you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boom. And as, as happy as we are to see you, there is somebody who is even more yes. ecstatic that you're here. We have some video to show from earlier this morning. Oh it's boy. Diamond, one of our staffers. Uh, Take a look. Oh boy. <laughs> Diamond? Yes. We have a person on the show today. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this. Kenny G. <laughs> live in studio. <laughs> He's going to be in the building. Come here. Come here, seriously. No. But really? He's coming. No. <laughs> Are you a fan? Yeah. Was too, I think she was too nervous to talk to me. I saw her when I got out of the car oh, just really? now. Yeah. Diamond, that was your moment. You were supposed to say that. It's okay. Hi. Well, it's I'll see her on the way out. Okay, Come on out, Diamond. <laughs> Yay, we're glad that Diamond is able to meet you. She is a super fan, literally. Well, that's very flattering so, because she's young. Yeah, she is. We like that. <laughs> so, so, there she oh. is right there. Here she comes. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Hi, Diamond. He's only sold 75 million that's albums. Right. That's right. How are you? Grammy Award. Good, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> She's Nicely all ready. Done. It's great. Uh -oh. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> <laughs> this all says it every time. Uh, college friends from freshman year are probably like freaking out for me. Right now. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, Thank we, you, by the way. That's no problem. Very flattering. No, it was you. awesome. When we just mentioned your name, she was like, are you guys serious? Is he, is he coming here? It was wonderful. So we're happy. She just that wants to know what I use in my hair. No! <laughs> We can I know, right? We, we, we need to know it. <laughs> All right, so this is your big moment. You, know, yes. you can uh, interview Kenny G oh, about anything, know. ask him any question wow. you no. like. He's in town Did to you perform. Know you were doing this? No. Oh, my uh, goodness. Okay. Um, you guys are cool. I know, they're great, right? Um, how do you like playing in Detroit? Well, I have a microphone. I'm good. Oh, cool. oh thank that's you. Your mic. Okay. <laughs> So that's okay. That's great. Hey, I actually I've been to Detroit a, a lot. Now you're probably too young to to even know what P jazz was. No. Back in the day, you had this um, jazz program at the Pontchartrain Hotel. Yeah. It was called P jazz. So okay. I've been here for many years. I love coming to Detroit. Cool. And I have a very good friend that's a, one of your premier musicians here, Alexander Zanjic. Yeah. Oh, okay. He's a, a very, awesome. He's a cool guy, great guy, and a wonderful flute player. And we, we've been friends for 30 years. Oh, nice. Older than you are, my dear, I'm, I'm sure. Only 21. <laughs> You're only 21. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right, round of applause Thank for you, Diamond. Diamond. Thank you, Diamond. <laughs> nice, nice meeting you. See you later. <laughs> All right, it's an intimate evening with the iconic Kenny G tonight at the Emerald Theater in Mount Clemens. Yeah. You, I mean, this is a smooth jazz kind of area, a town here. I mean, I think it's a jazz area. It doesn't, you know, smooth, not smooth. Yeah. A funky, like that, that song you played earlier uh, when, when your show started. Great, great. stuff. So Detroit's great. Great music. And um, we're excited for tonight. We, we, we put on a great show. I've got a great band. Been with the same group for 30 years. Wow. Nice. Awesome musicians. So I hope everybody comes out and sees us tonight. It's going to be great. Okay, so when you first took off back in 86, did you ever think that it would reach this level? You mean to sit here next to you? No, on show? no, <laughs> to be an internationally <laughs> known, incredible, probably one of the best known instrument players in the world, or one of them, definitely. Gosh, you know, those are the things you never, I never thought about. I still don't think about that stuff. Well, you know, what, what, what I think about is, how am I going to get better on this instrument every day? I've mm -hmm. practiced for three hours, and uh, I'm honestly really looking forward to getting down to the theater earlier 
to then, you know, about two o'clock, practicing for my few hours. That's what motivates me, and I think that the rest of it comes because you're, you know, if you get, if you really love something and you work hard at it and you get good at it, I think the rest of it just comes. So it's about the craft. It, to me, it's about the craft and just about being, you know, sincere about how much you love this. And it, to me, it's still a mystery how it works. Mm. So I want to keep working and try to master it, which I'll never master it. It's like uh, golf. You'll never master it. Uh, does it? She have a name? <laughs> uh, uh, don't, don't, I don't think it's a she, I can tell you that. That would okay. be a, No, it has no name. It doesn't have a name. But it, it, we is don't this the together. original instrument that you've been carrying on? Yeah, this is my, my high school sax. No way, are you serious? This is my high school saxophone, yeah. Wow. I've been playing it ever since I was 17. In fact, my first gig with this horn was playing with Barry White and the Love Unlimited Orchestra. Oh, and I was still in high school. Goodness. Come on. Yeah. Like Love's theme, really? Like Love's theme, yes. That's amazing. I played with Barry White. So you've played with a lot of people. Yeah. Who do you still want to work with that you haven't yet? Well, you know, I mean, if Paul McCartney called, that would be pretty cool. You know, Rod Stewart. Could, you know, it's just any iconic. If Beyonce called, yeah. I'd, be, I'd love it. Anything good. like that. All right. Well, um, you are really good to the fans. The fans obviously love you. What, talk about that special connection, especially now with social media, yeah. like Facebook and Twitter and whatnot. I think it's great uh, that we get a chance to connect with people that you could never reach before. And um, I like to be, the, I, I like fun. Our shows are fun. So I, I'm, I don't take myself that seriously. And I think people enjoy being able to talk to somebody um, and feel comfortable, you know? Okay. I, I, and by the way, I run into so many people on my travels because I'm at airports all the time. So when you're at airports, you see everybody. And everybody wants to come up and it's, it's, it's really a, a selfie fest at the airports mm -hmm. these days. And you know, it's just fun. I'm there anyway, and I enjoy people. All right. Well, speaking of airports, next uh -oh. to playing the sax and golf, you say that fl flying is wow. actually one of your greatest passions. I set right? you up for that. Didn't even know Look you were going to do Perfect. that. It was a smooth. Yeah, smooth yeah it was a very segue. smooth. Segue. <laughs> okay, so that's me flying my uh, my little plane that I have. That plane actually lands on both uh, land and sea. It's a water. Wow. It's a called an amphibian plane. Anyway, so there it is. Um, flying around, and, and that plane actually flies into, into Detroit every year. Cool. So I'll be flying that back here sometime around the 10th of July. I'll be landing somewhere and, and spending the night here, because I, I travel from east, west coast to east coast, and Detroit's one of my stops. Love it. Love Does it. the plane have a name, like Duotones 1? <laughs> well, it's actually, now you're going to think I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the name of it. It's a beaver. Uh, it's a okay. beaver. It's an, it's a, it's a, it's an amphibious oh, plane. It's called a it. de Havilland beaver. That's the real name. That is no joke, folks. There you go. You know, don't read into that. Chuck's not here today. He's a, he's a pilot. He I would, know. Our co-host is off today, but he's a pilot. He would have loved Chuck this conversation. Absolutely. He would well, have loved if, this if conversation. If you mention too. that to him, he'll know what the de Havilland Beaver is. a very famous plane made, made between the years of 1947 and 1961, and it's, it's a cool going. plane. But yeah, but it's, when you have a new engine, it's a new plane. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, back in April, videos of you went viral after you had an impromptu performance on a oh. flight from L.A. To, to Florida. How did that end up happening? Oh, my gosh. I'm looking at that right now. That's so funny. Okay, yeah, so um, I was sitting in my seat and the lady comes and sits next to me and she's a, a Delta flight attendant that's on uh, a deadhead. Yeah. So she's telling me about how they raise money for this charity uh, for cancer research. Her daughter had died of brain cancer. So oh. she tells me the whole story and young, she died at 30. So the lady says, listen, we raise money on flights. Help me raise some money on this flight. So well, what do you want me to do? She says, well, if you play your sax for somebody that gives money, I said, Somebody gives five bucks, I'm not playing my sax for that. It's, just, it's I'm worth more than that. She goes, well, okay, well, let's come up with a number. So we came up with a number of $1,000, and if we raised it, I, I would play, so we did. It was great. It was, it was very impromptu, totally impromptu, totally as you can see. Totally impromptu and very, very cool. Very cool. You know, the at cause a time, is cool and everything. At a time when uh, lots of bad things are happening on the on the on Too the many airport. bad things, right. So we, um, we brought some good. Everybody was super, super um, willing to put money in. I was shocked. We said 1000 I didn't think they would raise it, so I was thinking, I'm not going to have to play. Right. And so we uh, got $2,000, and, and it was wonderful. And I, I made friends now with the lady. Her name's Jane Mitchell, and she's a wonderful woman. So we're, we're now chit-chatting, emailing each other. Oh, that's we're cool. We're friends. friends now, yeah. That's awesome. All right, if you want to be in the audience to see Kenny G tonight, then listen up. We are giving away yes. w uh, one pair of front row seats wow. to see Kenny G live tonight at the Emerald Theater in Mount Clemens. Yeah, be careful. Some, you know, there might be a couple of drops that come out of this thing at the end. So if you're in the front <laughs> row, you might want to back up just a couple of feet. We'll see what happens. Very good. So good luck to everyone. All you got to do to enter to win is go to our Live in the D Facebook page, contest rules, or click on Detroit.com.
Thank you so much for being here. Hey, Kenny G, everyone. Would you play us to break? Yeah. This was the fastest I ever, I walked in, I started playing in 30 seconds. It was awesome. We'll I had so much fun here. today. Here we go. <laughs> Still ahead, live in the D, September, Shining Star, Fantasy, you know their music. We're talking live to Earth, Wind and Fire to see what they have planned in Detroit. And up next, get ready to dine in the D at a local restaurant with a vibrant vibe. And we want to say hello, hi, how you doing to our Live in the D fan of the day. Hello, Barb from Rochester Hills. There she is. You have won a Kroger gift card. There's Barb. If you want to be our Live in the D fan of the day, just follow the link on our Live in the D Facebook page. That's right. And for contest rules, you know what to do. Go to click on Detroit.com. Find the rules under the Scene on 4 tab. We will be right back.